impulsive repeat number one. So for this drill, you're gonna perform one exercise at a time between four to six sets per exercise, resting between 60 to 40 seconds. So first exercise will be the split squat jump alternate. So you're gonna do 10 each on week one. So you start in that split squat and you can even move your arms like this to jump higher, okay? So split squat, you're gonna alternate. So jump, 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 jump. So you're gonna jump 10 each, 10 each leg, so that's 20 reps. As high as you can, load, unload, be powerful. Rest for 60, go again, four sets in a row on week one. You're gonna go up to six sets uh, by the end of the program. So you need to be able to repeat power. So that's the goal of this drill. At first we're resting 60 seconds. On week four we're down to 40 seconds rest. Still need to be able to recover fast to be powerful. Exercise number two, explosive push-up, jump push-up, jump push sorry. It can be on your feet or on your knees. Guys, preferably on your feet. So you're just pushing, squeeze your bum, feet together, down, up, up, up. Girls, on your knees preferably because I want to see some speed and power. Squeeze your bum. So you go on and off the ground. I put a range between 10 and 15, okay? If you're on your knees, maybe closer to 15. If you're on your feet, maybe closer to 10, okay? Remember, you're gonna do 10, rest 60, do it again for four sets in a row. Exercise number three. This one, we're kind of slowing thing down, things down. It's a core exercise. We're going to take our time, no rush, no explosion for this. So, if this option number one, bent knees, toes up, arms in the cross. I'm going to bring my knees to the ground, not touching, but going down. Exercise, option number two, leg extended, harder, down, not touching the ground. Control, down, down, back and forth. So this is great for the dissociation between the upper body that needs to stay in a cross. I want both hands on the ground as you rotate, don't let it come off the ground. So you dissociate your upper body with the lower body rotation. So that's the goal of this drill. If for some reason that is painful for your back, go back to the bent knee version. Make sure that you keep you're, you press your back against the ground here. None of the arch back. So first set up, go down, keep it down, keep it down. Don't go as low. Same thing, leg extended. It's gonna come up slightly, but I don't wanna see an arch back. You need to be able to push against the ground with your low back. Engaging all the deep core muscles. And finally, the last one is the lateral jump. So, start on one leg, jump on and off the ground, move your arms as far and as fast as possible. I am not dropping the hips here, bringing my foot back. That's not what I wanna see. I wanna see ankles to ankles, knees to knees, ankles to ankles, knees to knees, on and off the ground. 10 each, 20 total, rest for a minute, go again. Like I mentioned, this drill is probably following a hard drill, a conditioning drill, and you do this one just after. So this is for you to get, to be able to still be powerful towards the end of the game. Your goal, every jump you do, whether it's split squat jump, lateral jump, or push-ups, Try to maintain that power. You're only resting for 60 seconds in week one. 
like I mentioned on week four, 40 seconds, so it's gonna come back fast. Enjoy!